Welcome once again to Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. I'm the Green Wave skate doctor, Lou Bordeaux, with you here tonight. Green Wave been busy, a lot of hockey in the month of January, coming off a big 2 0 win in Assabet Valley this past Saturday night. Green Wave currently on a big six game winning streak. Here to talk with me about it right now is the Green Wave head coach, Adam Bouchard. Boosh, how are you? Hey, Skate Doc, how are you tonight? Oh, never better. Glad to see you. Fantastic. Congrats on the uh, six game winning streak. Looking to build on it tonight against uh, an up and coming Assabet Valley team. Yes, you know, uh, that victory down at Assabet Valley was great. You know, that two to nothing victory. Um, you know, when you go out east, it's a little bit different atmosphere uh, on the ice with, you know, three man official, loud fans. Uh, Aspen Valley ran a good deep game, but, um, you know, we were able to come along. Riley played really big for us, and uh, we came out of the game two to nothing. Uh, coming in tonight on that six game winning streak, we got the Mount Everett Eagles. And um, like I've been trying to tell the team all week long, you know, this isn't your grandfather's Mount Everett Eagles. This team is deep. They're fast. They come with three lines. Uh, they actually have a player who will be heading out to the Berkshire School, so he'll be playing in the, the prep school league next year. Um, this is going to be a really good game tonight. So we're looking for big things. I know I said Assabet Valley a minute ago. You corrected me. Thank you, Mount Everett. Um, Riley Drew stood on his head Saturday night. 31 saves, I believe. Yeah, you know, that's the Riley that we all know, right? Riley's been our, in our program for five years. Uh, and if you really look back, it, it makes me chuckle because uh, Riley's eighth grade year, he played one period for us. And uh, he had a five-save shutout in that, in that period against the, the Chicopee Comp. So uh, it's really great to see Riley coming in his senior year. Uh, got another little bit more than half the regular season to go, and uh, he's looking pretty good for us. It's good. I'm looking for big things tonight, Coach. Yeah, so are we. We're going to continue running our, our three lines. You know, um, we brought up uh, Billy Woodall's getting some playing time tonight, so hopefully we can get his, him out there. And we're looking to see if we continue to run deep, run our three lines, and just wear out those Eagles. Great. We'll be back with the starting lineups and the opening faceoff in just a moment. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield.
And we are just about ready for opening faceoff action here in Greenfield, and we're underway. Green Wave stopped in the neutral zone. Puck goes deep. Derek Lenoise down behind the goal line with it. Battle with Brendan Hayden behind the Mount Everett net. Starting forwards are Cam Rafe Stanger, Nick Zanin, Dylan Boomsma for the Eagles. Out for the Green Wave, Derek Lenoy, Kyle Barnes, Shane Prusak just changing. Out comes the line of Brian Bowman. Little collision at the red line. Puck sent in deep by Mike McGoldrick, followed up by Sean O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan cuts wide and around. Nobody home. Sully back to the point. Bowie Harris, wrist shot. Off the ankle of Kyle Benzie, he breaks in. Harris gets back, takes him out of the play. Jacob Bryant comes around this way. Green Wave in their home whites, skating from right to left. O'Sullivan, not too nice moves, couldn't quite finish though. Jake Crota got the puck out into the slot. O'Sullivan once again collects, it's back to the point. Cleared the length of the ice. We're going to have our first icing call of the night. 13-17 to go in the first period of play. Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. Welcome, everybody. A rare Monday night tilt here at the CMA. Mount Everett comes into this game 1-6-1 overall. Green Wave 6-1 overall. Cam Rafestanger cuts in, save Drew. Nicely turned aside by Riley. As we mentioned in the pregame, Riley turned in a great 31 save shutout performance last Saturday night out in Marlboro, Mass against Assabet Valley. And we've got a roughing call coming up. It's going to be on Mount Everett. Penalty goes to Josh Hunter for roughing. on the power play. Jacob Bryant circles over to O'Sullivan. Cleared the length of the ice. Still a minute and a half to go in penalty time here. Jacob Bryant collects, takes a look. It's Bowie Harris moving up in the play. Bryant gets the puck, he circles. Aiden Roach had a shot or a bouncing puck, went high. O'Sullivan again, right out front. Bryant gets a shot off from the points, gloved by Jack Seward Daly, goaltender for Mount Everett. Bryant again goes through the neutral zone. It's a long one go. Seward Daly kicks that aside. 41 seconds in penalty time remain. Bryant with his third shot of the sequence. Seward Daly equal to the task on all three. Thirty-seven seconds to go in the Green Wave power play. 11:29 remain in the first period of play. Kevin Bowman at the point. Oh. Bowman dishes it in deep again. Oh, 
Kyle Barnes circling. Drops it for Shane Prusak. Shane through a maze of legs. Good opportunity. Kevin Bowman moving the puck. Kyle Barnes deep in the corner. Barnes takes a look. Penalty is expired. Puck is blocked by Nathaniel Von Ruden of the Eagles. Derek Lenoise looks to tie it up. He's got two Eagles down there with him. And Seward Daly holds the puck. Jack Seward Daly's been busy so far. We've got ourselves a scoreless tie, 0-0. Zero to 10-28 zero, to go in the first period here in Greenfield. On Everett breaks out to two on one, odd man rush. And they score! Dylan Boomsma finished that one off nicely. Mount Everett takes a one nothing lead. Wasn't much Riley could do on that one. Scorer Dylan Boomsma drives it in deep behind Riley Drew. MJ Pollen moves it around to Jake Croto, chips it up to Brian Bowman. Bowman looks to recalibrate. He finds Croto at the center stripe. As Coach Adam Bouchard said before the game, this is not your grandfather's Mount Everett Eagles team. Aiden Roach. Nobody there to finish. Mikey McGoldrick. Left pad saved by Seward Daly. O'Sullivan. Backhands it collected by Brian Bowman. And the Eagles head back. It's Josh Hunter. Picked off by Sammy Knight. Sam gets it up to Aiden Roach. Roach takes a look. Two on two here. Knight with a nice four check, takes it back. Mike McGoldrick finds Knight open on the left side. Sam Knight goes in. McGoldrick at the blue line. Turned aside by Seward Daly. Kyle Barnes bounces it in. Seward Daly was not back tight against the post. Kyle Barnes bounced it in off him, and we've got a tie hockey game. Nice finish by Kyle Barnes on that one to tie this one up. Got 8.37 to go in the first period, and we're tied at one. Derek Lenoy's in over the blue line. Mikey McGoldrick at the blue line. Moves the puck in deep. Nick Zanin for Mount Everett moves it around. Stopped temporarily by Jacob Bryant. Play comes back towards Riley Drew. Puck goes the length of the ice. It was tipped on the way, though, so there's no icing on the play. Kevin Bauman up to Derek Lenoise. Derek goes rink wide over to Brian Bowman. Bowman's got Kyle Barnes breaking on the left side. Mount Ever player drops his stick. Kept in by Harris. 
stick saved by Seward Daly goes up into the netting. Faceoff is going to be to the right side of Jack Seward Daly. 7.36 to go in the first period of play. One to one here at the CMA in Greenfield. Long shot. Riley puts the glove on it and he's going to hold on to it. Shot was going very high, but Riley saw the play developing in front of me. Saw three of the Mount Everett Eagles crossing the blue line all at the same time. Wisely held on to it. Face off is to Riley Drew's right side. Brian Bowman on the draw pulls it back to Bowie Harris. Harris chips it up. Puck is chipped in by Josh Hunter down behind the Greenfield goal line. Bowman tips it back. Oh, Bowie Harris got off a shot from the point. Hit Bowman in the backside. Puck is chipped in by Grayson Duval of the Eagles. Picked up by Kevin Bowman. Headmans it to Sean O'Sullivan. Sully breaks through two defenders, can't make it through the third. Goes wide, oh, in the corner. It's Grayson Duvall. Took O'Sullivan into the boards. Puck bounced high, didn't quite hit the netting. Chipped out, stopped by Brian Bauman. Bauman cuts in, oh! O'Sullivan couldn't get the good composite on it. McGoldrick from the point, his shot is blocked out front by Mount Everett. Bowman again collects, takes a look. Wrist shot off the post. Off the post, went straight up. Hit the short ceiling here at the CMA. Coach Bouchard changing up the lines here, 6-10 to go in a 1-1 hockey game. Got the official scoring assists on the Mount Everett goal. Give Cam Rafestanger an assist on it. And on the Green Wave goal, give Mikey McGoldrick, one of our captains, an assist on Kyle Barnes's goal. Scores one to one here in Greenfield. Puck comes back, Kevin Bauman circles. Brendan Hayden behind his own net, loses control. Shane Prusak grabs it. Puck was loose. Mount Everett got a stick on it. Knocked it back towards the corner. A lot of back and forth play here through the neutral zone. Kevin Bowman collects and moves in. Circles. Sewer Daly knocks it out. It's up to Rafe Stanger. Gets it back to Grayson Duvall. Bowman intercepts the pass from D Dylan Boomsma. Oh! Full on hip check by Josh Hunter. Bowman slow to get up on that one. And we're going to get a delayed penalty here. Penalties on Aiden Roach for tripping. 4.34 to go in the first period of play. Got our first look at the Green Wave penalty kill unit tonight. Jake Croto on the faceoff. 
Won the draw, collected, sent it the length of the ice. Mike McGoldrick gets it, sends it back into the Mount Everett zone. Nick Zanon circles with it. Kyle Benzie cuts in. Sends it back to the point. Brendan Hayden saved. Drew and a beauty. Brendan Hayden again. Sends it in. It's gloved by McGoldrick. Tapped up to Jake Croto. Jake sends it the length of the ice. A minute 20 to go on the Mount Everett power play. Save, Drew. Cooper Shepherdson from point blank range unleashed a 30 foot cannon that Riley just swallowed, dished it into the corner. Puck is back into the Mount Everett zone. MJ Pollen takes a look, sends it the length of the ice. Seward Daly gives it to Josh Hunter with 40 seconds to go in the power play. Pollen again sends it the length of the ice. A couple of quality shots here by the Eagles. Another one turned aside by Drew. Three shots on this power play. Cam Rafestanger gets it off into the corner. But comes back this way. Ten seconds left in the power play. Kyle Barnes chips it out. That's going to do it. Green Wave successfully kill the penalty. Aiden Roach goes right for the puck. Cam Rafestanger taken into the boards by Aiden Roach. Rafestanger assisted on that Mount Everett goal earlier in the period. Sean O'Sullivan has the puck for Greenfield. Intercepted at the red line by Nathaniel Von Ruden. Mike McGoldrick had it behind his own net. Lost control. Roach with it. Odd man rush the other way. Three on two. Roach circles. O'Sullivan buries it. What a goal. Greenfield take a two to one lead on Sean O'Sullivan's goal. Kyle Barnes loses control. Regains. MJ Pollen with it. Cooper Shepherdson. It's a shot in on Drew. Drew smothers it. Going to be a face-off to the left side of goaltender Riley Drew. Greenfield lead this game 2-1. Minute 9 remain in the first period of play here at the Collins Moylan Arena on a cold Monday night in January. Green Wave in the midst of a busy month of January. Adam Bouchard told me that the Green Wave plays every two and a half days in the month of January. Ice and call against the Green Wave. 57 seconds to go in the first period. Brian Bowman on the faceoff. 
Puck's loose. Dylan Boomsom had gotten control of that faceoff and got the quick shot away. Riley equal to the task. Mikey McGoldrick banks it into the corner. O'Sullivan. Long pass to Aiden Roach. Roach has it. Sends it down into the Mount Everett zone. 30 seconds to go in the first period. Puck comes back this way. Rafe Stanger broken up by Brian Bowman. Offside with eight seconds to go in the first period. It's been an active first period of play here at the CMA tonight. Good crowd on hand for a Monday night. Stalemate on the draw sent down into the Mount Everett zone as this period is going to run out of time. At the end of one period here at the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, your Greenfield Green Wave lead this one 2-1 to one over the Mount Everett Eagles. We're going to be back with second period action in just a moment. You're watching Green Wave Hockey here on FCAT Sports. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. And welcome back to second period action here at the CMA of the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. You got the Green Wave skate doctor Lou Bordeaux here with you. Chilly Monday night in January. Green Wave right off the bat skating from our left to right in this second skating period. Kyle Barnes down behind the goal line. Out to McGoldrick, hits the side of the net. Barnes again. Stripped of the puck by Grayson Duval. Derek Lenoyes takes it in. Back to Kevin Bowman. Steered aside by Jack Seward Daly, Mount Everett goaltender. Ooh, looked like a high stick right there. Paul's gonna be elbowing on that one. Well, I'm not so sure about that, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like we got matching penalties here. So we're still playing five on five hockey here. We had a high sticking call on Brian Bowman and an elbowing call on 
Brendan Hayden of Mount Everett. Coincidental Miners, five on five hockey. Jake Croto out there, puck is loose, Sean O'Sullivan. It's his shoulder into Kyle Benzie of Mount Everett. Sully bounces one off of Benzie. Carly Duval breaks up the left side with it. O'Sullivan shoulders her off the puck. Comes back this way. Sully between the feet, circles back. Taken down, no call on the play. Kept in at the point by Jacob Bryant. Bryant looks, moves through. He's hauled down. Bryant circles, puck is loose. Picked up by Cooper Shepherdson. Loose puck is picked up and chipped away by Jake Croto. Gets it up to Kyle Barnes. Stripped at the blue line, going back the other way. Puck's in all alone. That was the goal scorer, Dylan Booms. Man alone on Riley. Riley foiled him. And digging in, kicked the post off its moorings and Seems we talk about this every time we've got coverage of a game here at the Collins Moylan Arena. For some reason that mooring down underneath the scoreboard here just doesn't seem to fit tight and that net is forever coming off. Shane Prusak looking for it on the green wave. Dirk Lenoy's got it, sent it back, goes all the way down. Mikey McGoldrick circles behind his own cage. Moves around, Prusak with it. Prusak, a little backhander. Picked up by Nick Zanon. At 11 and a half to go in the second period of play, two to one in favor of the Green Wave. Kyle Barnes breaks down. The right side. Puck bounces up into the protective netting. Faceoff is going to be to the left of goaltender Jack Seward Daly. Turn around there, Riley Drew holds that one. Faceoff is going to be to his right side. MJ Pollen behind his own net. Puck comes up to Aiden Roach. Roach crosses the blue line. Sewer Daly knocks the puck out. Porter Clancy nearly got his stick on it. Hayden Roach stood tall behind the Mount Everett goal line. Puck goes lengthy the ice. Icing is waved off. Riley sends it around the boards. Intercepted by Clancy. Brian Bauman breaks up the right side. It's in behind the Mount Everett goal line. Gets the shot away, it goes wide. Sam Knight with it. Got the shot away through traffic, saved by Seward Daly. So O'Sullivan, score! <laughs> Brian
Ryan Bauman was held back here at the blue line in front of our broadcast position. While he was being watched, O'Sullivan picked up the loose puck, went down in front of Seward Daly, went to his backhander and buried it. That's Sully's second goal of the night. Great second effort by Sean O'Sullivan. Gives the Green Wave a 3-1 to one lead. Got an icing call. Faceoff is going to be to the left side of the Mount Ever goalie. Assists on that green wave goal go to Aiden Roach and MJ Paulin. It's Rochi's second assist of the night. Jacob Bryant nearly tipped in by Shane Prusak. Talk to coach Adam Bouchard in between periods. And while he felt the green wave turned in a good performance in that first period of play. You wanted to see a little more intensity? Well, coach, looks like you got it. Green Wave will come out buzzing in this second period. Cam Rafestanger circles back, drops the puck for Brendan Hayden. Hayden levels Jacob Bryant behind the play. Referee behind the play, it's the second one. Referee behind the play makes the call. Green Wave going on the power play. That's Brendan Hayden's second penalty of the period. Green wave on the power play. O'Sullivan with the puck behind the goal. Looks, he finds Brian Bowman stationed behind the net. Bowman takes a look. Bowie Harris at the point. O'Sullivan recalibrates in the neutral zone. Cuts through all four Mount Everett defenders. It's a shot off the side of the net. Mount Everett dumps it the length of the ice. A minute 15 to go on the Green Wave power play. Green Wave lead this one 3 to 1 with 7.50 to go in the second period of play. O'Sullivan with a head of steam through the neutral zone. Puck is tapped out by Kyle Benzi of Mount Everett. Puck comes rink wide. Grayson Duval takes a look. Takes it down behind his own net. Bowie Harris stops it in the neutral zone. Waits to get back on side. And again, Mount Everett clears it the length of the ice. 40 seconds to go on the Green Wave power play. Brendan Hayden of Mount Everett in the penalty box for cross-checking. Kyle Barnes across the blue line. Drops it for Derek Lenoy. Dropped it, nobody home. Shane Prusak collects. Oh, he elbowed right into that stanchion over there. My goodness. Prusak's slow to get up, he's going off. Jacob Bryant, quick shot, left pad saved by Seward Daly. Nathaniel Von Ruten takes it, short handed. Penalty has expired. 
Six and a half to go in the second period. Kyle Barnes, long stretch pass, finds Brian Bowman. Bowman over the blue line. Gets in deep, hit the post. Great pass from Kyle Barnes up to Brian Bowman. Bowman went in full tilt. Puck went off the left goal post and then the collision took the net off its moorings down at this end of the rink. 6.23 to go. Greenfield leads this one 3-1. to one. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports. And worldwide on YouTube. Another save by Seward Daly. He's been busy tonight. Referee dropped the puck while Greenfield was in the middle of a line change. Going to do this one again. Sean O'Sullivan in to take the draw. Kyle Barnes back out to take the draw with Grayson Duval and Mount Everett. Kevin Bauman chips the puck in deep. Josh Hunter behind his own net. Kyle Barnes with it. He's taken down. Shane Prusak. Oh! Save got under the pad of Seward Daly. No damage though. Pollen chips it up to Lenoise. Derek takes it down behind his own net. Puck was loose. Cam Rafestanger got his stick on it. Riley turned that one aside. Goes back down behind Riley Drew. MJ Paulin with it. Aiden Roach knocks it in behind the Mount Everett goal. Aiden Roach held back on the play. It's through Adam Savoy looks for it. Kept in at the line by Bowie Harris. Harris has it. Carly Duval tries to get it up to Cooper Shepherdson, couldn't get his stick on it. Brian Bauman. Over to Adam Savoy. Savoy over to Will Height. Puck goes back the other way, chipped into the corner. Jacob Bryant has it. Puck bounces harmlessly into the neutral zone. Adam Savoy in pursuit. Battle in number four as Cam Rafestanger strips him. Savoy returns the favor and it's over to Brian Bauman. Rafestanger with it again. Brendan Hayden sends the puck down deep into the greenfield zone. Brian Bauman gets it up. Yeah, 
Dylan Boomsmo with a shot right into Riley Drew's Green Wave crest. Riley holds it. Going to have a face off to his right side with 2.53 to go in the second period of play. Green Wave on top in this one, 3 to 1. Mikey McGoldrick with it, crosses the red line, gets a long one in. I believe that shot was going wide. Sewer Daly held on to it. He's going to have a face off to his right side with 2.41 to go in the second period of play. Kyle Barnes on the draw for Greenfield. Wins it back to Kevin Bowman. Kevin gets it in. Nice poke check by Kyle Barnes. Gets it back in behind the Mount Everett goal line. Buck just bounced outside the blue line. For an offside call. 2.15 to go in the second period. Hi ho, let's go. Puck went wide. Puck went wide of the Mount Everett goal. Sewer Daly decided that discretion was the better part of valor there. Held on to it for a face-off to his right side. 210 to go in the second period of play. MJ Pollen at the point. Sends it through traffic. Puck bounces behind the Mount Everett net. MJ's got it. Keeps it out of the defensive zone. Blocker saved by Drew. And we've got an offside at the Greenfield blue line. Fran Bauman and Nick Zanon went shoulder to shoulder there. Couple high Hawarias. One forty to go in the second period. Three to one's the score. You're watching Green Wave Hockey on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. Say hello to our friends far and wide tonight. Glad you're with us. Derek Lenoyes over the blue line. Jukes. Stripped to the puck. Regains control temporarily. Battle behind the green, behind the Mount Everett net. Shot goes through a maze of legs. It's loose. Kyle Barnes emerges with it. Sends it back to the point. McGoldrick bounces it in. Barnes again with it. Burns with the wrapper and oh, it didn't go. No idea how that did not go in. Got another Mount Everett penalty though. Referee calling Josh Henner on a cross check. So with a minute four to go in this second period of play, Green Wave go back on the power play. Face off over to Sean O'Sullivan. It's in. It's a power play goal. Looks like Brian Bowman got that one. He collected that after Sean O'Sullivan got a laser shot off from the corner.
Greenfield takes a 4 to 1 lead with 52 seconds to go here in the second period of play. Ooh. Nearly deflected in by Cam Ravestanger. Bowie Harris over the blue line. Can't maintain control. Kyle Barnes comes back with it. Puck bounced off the glass. 12 seconds to go in the period. Long shot saved by Drew. And the second period of play ends with the green wave on top, four to one. Coach, Coach Bouchard was looking for some intensity. I think he got it for the most part in that second period of play. We're going to be back with third period action in just a moment here from the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield, Massachusetts, USA. Right here on FCAT Sports and worldwide on YouTube. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Extreme Networks, customer-driven networking for your business. Software-driven solutions that are agile, adaptive, and secure. ExtremeNetworks.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the common in the center of South Deerfield. And we're ready for third period action here at the Collins Moylan Arena, the CMA in Greenfield. Four to one in favor of the Green Wave. A couple of strong periods by the Wave tonight. Pucks loose out front of Seward Daly. Nobody could get a stick on it. Kevin Bowman puts the heavy shoulder into Grayson Duval. Pucks loose. The goalie's way out. Puck comes back this way. Cam Ravestanger through the legs of Kevin Bowman. He's going to be called for interference on that one. So we're going to take a look at the Mount Everett power play. Puck comes back this way. Shot goes very wide by Brendan Hayden. Jake Croto with the aggressive four check. Puck is again stopped at the blue line by Mount Everett. Joe Crota looks to wind it around. Can't quite get it all the way out. Jacob Bryan sends it the length of the ice. Turned aside by Jack Seward Daly, Mount Everett goaltender. Minute five to go on the Mount Everett power play. Jacob Bryan again sends it the length of the ice. High off the glass. Sent back down. Yeah. 
Jacob Bryant one more time. Sends the 150 footer down gloved by Seward Daly dropped off. Nick Zanon stripped by Mikey McGoldrick. McGoldrick cuts in. Saved by Seward Daly. Got a penalty here on Mount Everett. McZannon sitting down for extracurricular roughing on that one. So we'll have four on four hockey for 12 seconds. That'll be a green wave power play. Louis Harris with the puck. And green wave around the power play for a minute 45 now. O'Sullivan cuts through, he's all alone. Score! Sean O'Sullivan! Throw the hats on the ice, ladies and gentlemen. Sean O'Sullivan with a beautiful maneuver through traffic. Take a 5 1 lead. Sean O'Sullivan's hat trick goal. Jacob Bryan sent that length of the ice through Brian Bowman's legs. Puck is in play. Jacob Bryan again, circles in traffic. Beats Mount Everett in a one on three situation, ends up with Brian Bowman, back over to Aiden Roach. Bowie Harris gets a stick chopped out of his hands. Ref referee makes a call for interference on Mount Everett. Penalties on Kyle Benzi for interference. 11.02 to go in the third period of play. 5-1 in favor of the Green Wave. Taking another look at the Green Wave power play. Puck gets into Mikey McGoldrick's feet. Battle behind the play. Referee with a tripping call here. She's going to call McGoldrick for that trip. Had a wait on that one, could have gone either way. So once again, it's going to be four on four hockey. Puck comes back to the point here. Puck is blocked in front by Jacob Bryant. Dropped off for Kevin Bowman. Kevin behind his own cage. Brian Bowman. Back to Kevin. Kevin gets a shot off. Swallowed up by Seward Daly. bit of chaos out there. 10 27 to go in the third period of play. Green wave on top five to one. 
Four on four hockey continues. A minute 26 remain in the Mount Everett penalty. Minute 41 in the Green Wave penalty to Mikey McGoldrick for tripping. Kyle Barnes wins the draw. MJ Pollen with a shot from the point. That's saved by Seward Daly. Kyle Barnes and Aiden Roach nearly connected there. Barnes with a great forecheck behind the Mount Everett net. Look for the wraparound. Aiden Roach was there looking for the rebound. Seward Daly equal to the task though. Puck is again stopped by Kyle Barnes at center ice. We got a goaltending change. That's Josh Bordeaux in goal. He makes the save. Got a high stick penalty here. Aiden Roach inadvertently got the stick up high. Off to the left side, Josh Bordeaux. Four on three hockey right now. That sent the length of the ice by Jacob Bryant. Mount Ever penalty be over in 10 seconds, and it'll be a five on three situation here. The Bowman brothers, Kevin and Brian. Sent back to Jacob Bryant. Playing catch with it. Brian Bowman sends it the length of the ice. Turned aside by Seward Daly. First Greenfield penalty is over. We're back to five on four hockey now. A minute 20 remain in the Mount Everett power play. Josh Hunter comes in. Puck is chipped up along the half wall. Nice defensive play by Mikey McGoldrick. Well, and as quickly as Mikey was out, he's going back in. Referees apparently found their whistles in this third period of play. Minor confusion. Okay, once again, five on three hockey. It's a five on three power play for Mount Everett. Jacob Bryant rifles it around. Can't, can't be held in. Kyle Barnes with it. Sends it the length of the ice. He's going wide, but Seward Daly stopped it. Handed off to Cooper Shepherdson. Shepherdson. Storms into the greenfield zone. Bram Bauman on the four check. Can't quite knock it out of the zone. Grayson Duval sends it back in. Shot goes high by Dylan Boomsma. High rolls out of the zone. 25 seconds to go in the first greenfield penalty to Aiden Roach. 7.45 to go in the third period of play. Kyle Barnes gets a stick on it. Sends it back in behind the Mount Everett goal. Nick Zanon comes through the zone. Boomsma has it, turned aside by Bordeaux. Another save by Josh. First penalty has expired. Back to five on four hockey. Mike McGoldrick still in the penalty box. 54 seconds remain in his penalty. 7.22 to go in the third period of play.
Puck goes back to the point. Over this side, Cam Rafestanger follows it in deep. A lot of traffic in front of the net. Shot goes wide by Rafestanger. Over on the far side, Brendan Hayden with it. Looks to circle back. Porter Clancy got a stick on it, sends it the length of the ice. 30 seconds to go in Mount Everett power play time. Bowie Harris in pursuit, and that's going to be an icing call. Green Wave penalty kill has Mount Everett on their heels here. 19 seconds to go in the penalty to Captain Mikey McGoldrick. Face off down to the left side of Jack Seward Daly. 6.47 to go in the third period of play. 5 to 1 Green Wave on top. And we're going to have another penalty here. It's going to be Kevin Bowman. Called for roughing. So we go back to five on three hockey for four seconds. Five on three hockey for four seconds. Mikey McGoldrick will be back out. Kevin Bowman wins the draw back to Bowie Harris. Harris rifles it off the glass out into the neutral zone. McGoldrick's out of the penalty box. Five on four hockey for a minute 50 now. Puck is chipped up into the Greenfield bench. Faceoff's going to be at center ice. Minute 41 to go in the Mount Everett power play. 6-13 remain in third period of play. Green Wave penalty kill seeing a lot of mileage in this third period of play. Brian Bowman on the draw. Chips it into the Mount Everett zone. Bouncing puck goes all the way down to the goal line. Josh Hunter behind his own net. Passes up to Dylan Boomsma. Boomsma circles behind his cage. A cut in in front of the net. Splits and a save. Minute 17 remain on the Mount Everett power play. Kevin Bowman in the box for roughing. Jake Croto out to take the face off for Greenfield. Brian Bowman. Tried to get it out of the zone. Josh Hunter keeps it in for Mount Everett. Mikey McGoldrick, nice chip out, backhanded. Goes the length of the ice. A minute to go in the Mount Everett power play. Five and a half remain in the third period. 5-1, Greenfield leads this one. Mikey McGoldrick again clears it the length of the ice. Nathaniel Von Ruden has it for Mount Everett. Jake Croto stops him in his tracks. MJ Paulin sends it the length of the ice. 35 to go in penalty time here. Blind pass by Mount Everett. Picked up by Croto. Sent back into the Mount Everett zone. Club save. Bordeaux. Nineteen seconds to go on the penalty to Kevin Bowman. 4.50 remain in the third period of play. Coach Adam Bouchard changes the Green Wave penalty killers. Kyle Barnes out to take the draw this time. He's flanked by Matt Wilhite, Bowie Harris, and Jacob Bryant. Buck is chipped into the corner by Carly Duval. She centers it. Two big saves by Bordeaux. Yeah. 
And Bowie Harris sends the length of the ice. It's going to be a well-deserved icing as the penalty to Kevin Bowman expired. One of the rare times in the third period we're going to be playing five on five hockey right now. Sam Knight gets it up to Derek Lenoise. Derek breaks through traffic. Oh, glove saved by Sewer Daly. Lenoise had a snipe set on that top corner. Sewer Daly got that glove up just in the nick of time. circles back towards the Mount Everett net. He's hounded by Luke Kaminsky. Carnage. Carnage in the green wave zone. Oh! Nick Zanon had his fists up there. Said hello to Billy Woodall. Nice poke check by Sam Knight. Sam Knight breaks back. He's got a clear lane. Sewer Daly got the right pad on it. Chipped it up into the netting. Faceoff is going to be to his right side with 3.28 to go in the third period of play. Coach Adam Bouchard has lengthened the bench here in the third period. We're getting a look at... A big variety of players. Matt Wilhite gets a shot away. That goes wide. Jay Croto digs in deep. Adam Savoy. And a nice shot away. Seward Daly got the blocker on that. Mike McGoldrick from center ice. Sends it back in. Delayed offside. Nathaniel Von Ruden behind his own net. Comes back this way with it. Cooper Shepherdson. Steps into Jason Smith. Mikey McGoldrick sends it up to Jake Croto. And Adam Savoy gets it into the Mount Everett zone. Croto picks it up. McGoldrick, slap shot from the point. Seward Daly got the blocker on that one. Two and a half to go. Green Wave lead this one five to one. Carly Duval stripped at the blue line. Mike McGoldrick takes it, sends it behind his own net. Jason Smith looks for it. Smitty's got it. Puck clears the blue line. Back in, Mike McGoldrick with it. Kyle Barnes couldn't get the composite on it there. McGoldrick once again sends it off the boards. Kyle Barnes on, a, an, on an intense forecheck. Delayed offside. Minute and a half to go in the third period. Brendan Hayden comes into the Greenfield zone. Kevin Bauman. Kevin Bauman said no. Delayed offside. We're down to a minute 10 remaining. Billy Woodall couldn't quite handle that pass. Evaded his stick, went the length of the ice for an icing call. Faceoff is going to be down to the left side of goaltender Josh Bordeaux, seeing his first varsity action of the season.
Jacob Bryant sends it up to Sam Knight. Under a minute to go in this third period of play. Adam Savoy into the Mount Everett zone. It's a wrist shot away. Deflected wide. Jacob Bryant, the backhand pass over to Jason Smith. Smith goes rink wide to Sam Knight. Puck comes back down into the greenfield zone. We're down to 20 seconds to go. Sam Knight again with the puck. Gets it into the Mount Everett zone. Jason Smith with five, four, three, and that's going to do it. Green Wave with a 5-1 victory over the Mount Everett Eagles. We're going to be back to wrap this one up in just a moment. Once again, the final score here at the Collins Moylan Arena, the Green Wave 5, Mount Everett 1. We'll be back in a moment here on FCAT Sports. Welcome back to the Collins Moylan Arena. Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here with you. You've seen the Green Wave beat the Mount Everett Eagles tonight by a count of 5 to 1. It was a terrific offensive performance tonight by Green Wave captain Sean O'Sullivan. Lit the lamp three times and got a helper in there. So a four point night for Sully. We're going to recap the goals though. Mount Everett got things started. Four minutes and 40 seconds into the first period of play. Dylan Boomsma finished off a nice feed from Cam Rafestanger. It was a two on one. Rafestanger got the puck across and Boomsma just connected on the one timer. Gave Mount Everett the lead. But from there there was no looking back for the green wave. Uh, two, two minutes and 20 seconds later, Kyle Barnes scored for the Green Wave. Captain Mikey McGoldrick was in the corner, got the puck out front to Barnsey. Barnsey finished that one off, and we had a 1-1 hockey game. And just before the first period ended, Sean O'Sullivan got his first goal of the night. Aiden Roach stormed in into the Mount Everett zone. He went to the goalie's left. Goalie followed him over, got the puck across to Sean O'Sullivan. Sully collected his first marker of the night, gave Greenfield a 2-1 to one lead as they went into the locker room after the first period of play. As we went into the second period, MJ Paulin and Aiden Roach passed back and forth through the neutral zone. Roachy got it up to Sean O'Sullivan who was able to finish the, with a nice backhander for his second goal of the night. And Greenfield, after Coach Adam Bouchard asked them for more intensity in their play in the second period, uh, they really dominated the period, even though the shots on goal were 8-7 to seven in both the first and second periods. Uh, Green Wave came out with a sense of purpose in that second period of play. Sean O'Sullivan, with his second goal of the night at 5.09 of the second period, gave the Green Wave a 3-1 to one lead. As the second period was coming to a close, Brian Bauman scored. He's been red hot for the Green Wave all season long. Uh, it was a quick power play goal. Green Wave had just gone on the power play seven seconds earlier. Sully, Sean O'Sullivan got an assist on this one. Uh, he had got the puck in the right, right face-off circle. Dug deep, got a terrific shot off. Mount Everett goalie Jack Sewer Daly couldn't quite get the uh, handle on it. Brian Bowman was there to collect the spare change, put the Green Wave ahead four to one, and that's the way the teams went off after two periods of play. Going into the third period, uh, three minutes in, right out in front of the uh, Mount Everett cage, Jacob Bryant had sent the long pass in. Brian Bowman got his assist, so he's got a goal and assist on the night. But Sean O'Sullivan was there to finish off the play. Gave Sean his hat trick on the night. So a four-point night for Sully, a great night. Uh, Brian Bowman finished with a goal and assist. He had two points on the night. Uh, it was just a terrific effort all the way around for the Green Wave. They're now on a seven-game winning streak. 
They're going to have a lot of hockey the rest of this month, though. Uh, we're going out to Pittsfield, to the Pittsfield Boys and Girls Club this coming Wednesday night. Not sure when you're going to see this on FCAT Sports, but if you're in the Pittsfield area, and some of you just might be, come on out. Face-off time is 7 o'clock. We're going to follow up with a home game this coming Saturday night right here at the CMA. 6.30 face-off when the Longmeadow Lancers come to town. They haven't been to Greenfield maybe ever. It's been a long time. Uh, we're going to follow that one up with a Monday tilt. Got to check my schedule, but uh, we'll have uh, a Monday game down at Smead Arena in Springfield against the Chick Chicopee Comp. So that's on Martin Luther King Day. So a lot of hockey coming up for the Green Wave over the next several weeks. Check out GreenWaveHockey.com for all the scheduling information. And uh, we certainly hope to see you either here at the CMA or by tuning in and watching us here on FCAT Sports and Worldwide on YouTube. Once again, I'm the Green Wave Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux, bidding you good night from Greenfield.